Okay, this episode confirmed a bunch of things today, most notably Amarothi's place of origin most likely being Aquiol and not Volgia. And given that she just straight up asked Ririha, a princess of Atlan, to join Volgia as well, the chances of her being a former princess of Aquiol simply shot up as well. I mean, the scenes themselves are not decisive enough, but there isn't any evidence to suggest a possible red herring either. So if no new information sways us in the other direction in future episodes, then Amarothi's backstory is pretty much a done deal here, at least the gist of it. Other than that, we also learned that Volga's fortress nation used to be the goody two-shoes among the nations of their world where they go around saving and adopting people who do not have water for themselves. But when they couldn't support this ever so growing population of refugees, a power struggle likely happened from within and the victor swayed this supposed good Samaritan of a nation into the antagonists that we know of today. At least if we are to go by these people's narrative of what Volgia is as a nation. But given that they did not betray Ririha's group after Chiru got saved and that they claim to be survivors from one of the nations that Volgia most likely ruined, then, like Amarothi's origins, if no new information appears in the future to sway us in the other direction, Volga's origin story here is pretty much a done deal, at least the gist of it as well. Another thing to take note of is the existence of the Great Orbital Spiral Tree. And based on how it was propped up in this episode, it's safe to assume that this great orbital spiral tree is now the end goal for Kaina's group and as to how they'll get there, that is something that we'll witness for ourselves in future episodes. And chances are, Kaina's group might give it to Valgia just to stop them from being mean to other nations. And one more thing before I end this review, one of the things that Noze mentioned is that the Admiral has a pet monster who is stronger than Amirothi and is considered to be Valya's greatest asset whenever they go to war with other nations. And as to who or what this pet monster is, if you're someone who watches the opening song of the series, then you've probably noticed this giant as one of the future cameos of the series. And to me, this giant is likely to be the one that Nozze is referring to as the Admiral's pet monster. But until we actually see it in the story itself, just take this part as speculation, if not outright gospel of what is to come in this series. And with that said, that's basically it for me for this episode. I thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next episode.